Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. Welcome back, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So I want to do an update on the piglets. Um, I've gotten some people that were worried about the pigs, uh, so I wanted to show you guys how they're doing. And um, yeah, just give you an update. So we're actually heading in to see mom and babies. Hey mama, look at them piglets. Look at them, how's mama doing, huh? Hi, little ones. I know, let's get you your dinner, huh? There you go, babe. Good girl. In your bowl. There you go. All right, so here's the little piglets. They are, let's see, they were born two days ago. And um, what we have done, hi, little one. Look at your little cute face. Um, is there in this shelter that's... Uh, you know, it's blocking the wind, so they have no breeze in here at all. And um, we have a bunch of hay in here that's pretty thick. And what's going on is the mamas, both pigs, are sleeping in here, laying next to each other, and the piglets are nestling up in between both of them. So um, we actually were, we were 28 degrees this morning, and the piglets were up and running around. Huh. Look at you fat guys. Oh, look at that big old fat belly. <laughs> um, anyway, so they're staying warm and we do not have heat out here. Um, it is a little bit difficult living off grid to, you know, we'd have to run like five extension cords to get power out here. And then we don't have the type of power that you would on grid. So we can't be running heaters at night. Um, like we would not typically breed for piglets this time of year um, but because she'd already come pregnant we didn't have a choice um, other than if we didn't purchase her uh, but anyway so the piglets are doing well they're doing fine it's actually supposed to warm up starting tonight so it won't be as cold um, but what they do is we actually came out in the middle of the night and they the piglets will burrow up underneath like this and that keeps them really warm um, also them laying next to both the pigs is it help them keep them warm, but they're doing great. They're looking nice and chunky and healthy. They're running around doing uh, what pigs do, and we are not having any issues with them. So for those of you that were worried about them being too cold or freezing, um, so far that's not the case. They're actually very hardy pigs. Um, sometimes we take, um, I guess, the hardiness of animals, uh, to make them seem more like people. You know, we need heat, we need sweaters and jackets and all this stuff, but the animals are built different than we are. And we have to remember that. Just like with the goats, everybody's, um, not everybody, but a lot of people put jackets on their goats and they have heat lamps and all this stuff. Some breeds, yes, do need it. Um, some breeds are not meant for cold weather, but then there's others like what we have, the Kikos, and they get their cashmere, um, coat and so they don't need the heat we've had you know goats born in negative five degrees and they did just fine um with just this type of shelter just you know you block the wind you block them from getting wet by any wet weather rain snow sleet um and they do just fine so thank you guys for um caring for the piglets you know i understand there were some concerns but so far the pigs are doing great and we hope to see uh, them grow up nice and fat and chunky uh, we are going to be keeping both so we've named the girl pan and the boy is gohan and uh, sticking with brandon's theme of dragon ball uh, if you guys haven't seen that show uh, it's an animated show so anyway um we'll be keeping both we'll keep the girl uh, for breeding and then we'll keep the boy for breeding and then down the road we can butcher him later uh, when he's bigger and we don't really need one because we already have so many boys um, so but they are unrelated to everything we have other than the mother so that's kind of the plan with them thank you guys again we'll see you again soon